Now, this one's not that crazy. It's not going to make any highlight reels or top list, but it is a little nugget, a little story that happened within this baseball season a little bit ago, and I want to talk about it. It's brought to you by our good friends over at SeatGeek. I thank them for sponsoring the video, and let's watch a team spot another team bases loaded without even throwing a strike. It's a two-run game, top of the seven. Bryce Harper's up, and it's ball one, 89 outside. Ball two, 91 inside. Ball three, 91 outside. Ball four, 90 outside, and heads are down. Hands are on heads. Next up, Castellanos. That's a non-competitive pitch. That's a nice curveball. It didn't get swung out. Ball six. Uh-oh. Ball seven. It's a pass ball, a wild pitch. Harper gets to second base, and now the pitcher leaves thinking, oh, my God, what's going on here? Catcher comes out, either says two things. Well, he could say a lot of things, but he could. my two guesses are he's saying, all right, well, you threw seven balls in a row. He's going to wait till you throw a strike, so let's just lay one in there. I think you're going to get it. Or he's going to say, he's probably going to swing here because you haven't thrown a strike. He thinks you're going to lay one in, so let's make it a good pitch. Lee thinks about it, says good advice, catch. I will do everything I can to implement that. Let's make a good pitch. Let's make a good pitch. Let's make a good pitch. Oh, my God, that was so bad. What happened? Castellanos, he doesn't even know. He's like, is that ball four? Does that count as a pitch? He's like, yeah, it does, man. It does. Eight eight balls in a row from me. Not happy about it. Um, Damn, first and third. Dugout stirring. They're like, he's got to be hurt, right? Scott, like, what was that about? Eight balls in a row, and the last one looks like that. So they leave the dugout. They go to the mound. They ask him how he's doing. They say, be honest with us. He says, honestly, I'm kind of hurt. He goes to the IL. Next pitcher comes in. It's Carl Edwards Jr. Catcher, I mean, not even close. But catcher's like, I just got to get us some outs here. I'll do whatever I can. Doesn't work. Next pitch. Ball again inside. Ball inside again. And the fastball's up and away. So now it's 12 balls in a row, bases loaded, the biggest gift you can give a team, and they're on the phone again. Like, oh my, is he hurt? Do we got to go to the bullpen again? What's happening here? All right, let's let him ride it out. First pitch, that was a nice curve, but it's called a ball. It's called a ball, so that's 13 balls in a row. And finally, change up, in the zone, strike, and we're going to get some claps. We're going to get some claps from the audience because they like it. Then he goes up top with the fastball, two and one. Fastball down the middle, fouled back 2-2, two, two. fastball, same spot. Isn't that interesting pitching? I kind of like watching Carl Edwards Jr. pitch. Just look at this. He goes 2-1, throws the fastball. He's late on it, right? He's late on it. Maybe he's sitting off speed because he showed him off speed earlier in the account. Now, if you remember, the first pitch was a curveball that wasn't called strike. So that's the first pitch. The second pitch is another. That's a changeup. So two off speed pitches. And now you got the batter thinking, all right, maybe he's going to come slow. Fastball up top, batter's probably thinking that was just for show. He's probably going to go back to the off-speed pitch. And then he's late on that. So now what is the batter thinking? Is he going to go three fastballs in a row? He opened me up off-speed. He's probably going to go back to the off-speed. But Edwards calls his bluff and just goes a fastball right down the middle. That's fun pitching. That's pitching backwards. Now bombs up, one out, got the strikeout. Alec bombs up. What's he going to do here? Well, he goes off speed first again, gets the curveball, swings over it. He doubles up the curve. Baum doesn't chase it that time. The 1-1, way high fastball. Do the runners go? No, they got enough gifts. They're not going to get greedy. They're not going to take more gifts than they think they deserve. So this kid's bored as shit. He doesn't even know about the pitching first and and fastballs to close it. 2-1, fastball again. So he did the same thing again. Watch. He did the same thing again. I like this style of pitching. He goes off speed first, right? Then, 0-2, he doubles up the curve. All right. Then he goes fastball up top, and it's so high that you're probably, as a hitter, you're probably thinking that's just for show, just to change the eye level. This kid's miserable. Just to change the eye level, just to get back to the off speed. And then he fools them with the fastball. Now, I think that was inside, but I just like that style of pitching. 2-2, back to the curve. Fouled off, and then fastball, low. That's what he wanted. So now what's he going to do? 3-2. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Fastball, right down there. Baum thinks it's low. I don't think that was low. I think that was a good pitch. I just like that style of pitching. We're clapping again. Everybody clap. We're going to get out of this thing. And hey, we're going to get out of this thing. First pitch. Now he goes fastball first. Got to change it up. And curveball next. And those two pitches play off each other really well watch this 
They're going to come out the same slot, one stays straight, and one bounces. Looks similar, and then all of a sudden they still somewhat, I mean, the speeds are different, but one is going to land on the dirt, and the other hit the catcher's chest. Cool. O2 is going to go curveball up top, but now his fingers are cramping. He's going to do a little ET stretch. E, 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 shakes it out, feels better. Now the catcher is doing a lot of stuff down here. Look at this catcher. He's got the glove low. He's putting his glove low like, yeah, let's bury a curveball here. Let's bury a curveball. Get it on the dirt. Just joking, high fastball. It's a, not a high fastball, but they get strike three on it. Low, 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 low. Psych. And then maybe that's outside. That's probably a ball off, but they're pumped up about it. He asked the umpires, that was outside. Said, that wasn't outside. So, okay, sorry. I thought it was. I just thought I'd ask. Now I'm dejected, but I look good. I look good. Hair's feathered. Eye black looks great. And strike three. They get out of the jam. Boom! This one was brought to you by our good friends over at SeatGeek. You want to watch a game in good seats? Download the app, go to the website, they make it really easy. They color code it for dumb people like me. Red, bad deal. Green, good deal. Red, stop, green, go. Not only are these good seats, you get them for a good price. And you can get $20 off your first purchase if you use code John Boy. So check it out. Seat Geek, thanks to them for sponsoring the video. You can go to a game and see if your guys spot the other team. Bases loaded. And if they get out of it, probably not. Probably going to go up a run.